What was our big question? Oh, big question. So we've got a big, big question. Coming up to the winter now, do you put moisture traps in the caravan or don't you? Sort of getting into our winter tips. Right, so it's Sunday morning, it's our Sunday video. Uh, if you looked at Sandy Ball's uh, <laughs> caravan site, keep going on about Sandy Balls. Uh, so I've got a feeling it's more of a holiday village. I just found it really funny that there's a caravan site or a, a holiday village site called Sandy Balls. Um, I'd still never had a chance to actually look whether it was next to the beach or not. Um, lovely motown we sort of had a quick look at this on friday's video uh, this has just come in um, so we've got somebody that swapped from a motorhome back to a caravan um, so i thought we'd have a nice look at this it's got the single beds um, it's got the little option i believe to put in the little infill piece and make it more of a, a double bed so the little piece here literally drops in and then the cushion goes in so you can make it more like a, a proper double bed um so versatile isn't it yeah good good layout again that will then <laughs> pop you can't get up if you wanted to use it as the single beds you can't get up the step though is the only problem so that's it's just a bit more of a climb so it depends whether you want to be climbing over each other or not might be might be quite fun too you never know um so nice nice it's got covers on the front at the minute um but it's the nice sort of brown sort of leathery sort of look same as that on the front seat so and they're all nice and clean as well it's, it's not hiding the camera. it's not great it's more no it's more of a brown, brown color, yeah yeah uh, this bed drops down to electric drop down bed so this doesn't necessarily make into a huge bed but it does make into a small bed but it's just easy to pull that down if you wanted yeah, other people <laughs> we've only got two traveling seat belts so it's pointless really having six berths because you can't take six people away with you but you have got an option to make that in and then obviously once this comes down it limits the space on the bottom bed so it's a bit... put that down then. so that bed then will come down it's going to hit that now isn't it it shouldn't do uh, there is a, a ladder that's about it uh, that will go onto there to make it easy to get in and out so yeah um i don't think there's any reason to make that bottom bed really is there no um so yeah it's a bit of a funny one nice being the electric um just takes a little bit of time but this is three and a half isn't it three and a half ton probably about as big as you can get on a three and a half yes yeah i don't think you're going to get any bigger than that on three and a half ton um, we've then got the six berth now this week's tip um so Again, we've mentioned it before that a lot of people might be using the caravan one last time and then it might go away for the winter. So that we're sort of getting into our winter tips. Really, really good time. If it is your last time to use it, run everything on the gas. So you want to be running your fridge on the gas. You want to get all everything on here running on the gas. You want to run your heating on the gas. You want to heat, run your hot water on the gas. And the reason for that is, so if it's the last time that you're going to use it before you put it away, if you haven't run the gas for a while, it's going to now be three or four months and it's just going to sit there. So best possible time, run this gas. We've said it before about one, your draining system, about draining your water system down. Before you leave site, pop up the yellow tag. We've showed you before. If you've not seen it before, go and have a look at the other videos. Pop the yellow tag underneath by your boiler into the upright position and leave it. Open all your taps up and as you're driving, it's going to shake all the water through. Next one then is our cassette toilet so we want to drain this cassette toilet down again uh, even if you're going to be using the caravan through the winter in between periods now that we're not using the caravan we want to keep the system drained down so drain your water system down keep all your taps drained down and drain this toilet down um, so we're going to make sure that this is drained off your main water system is drained off and also you can set make sure that that's empty and the last little bit of water that's in the system run your actual flush so press your flush button run that through so you know there's no water in the system anywhere um, good idea to take your shower hose off and blow down that hose shut the cat shut all the taps to do that and then blow down the hose and that will then blow a bit more through the system we are going to make our own little flow system where we sort of charge the system up and then blow all the last little bits of water out through the system um, and i'm going to show you how to make one 
I'm hoping I've got time to actually do this because I'm promising promising to do it now. So, um, so if if you don't want to go and buy a flow system, we're going to show you how to make one, um, and that'll be sort of a bit different to each different pump. But I'm going to show you a way to do it. What was our big question? Oh, big question. So we've got a big big question. Coming up to the winter now, do you put moisture traps in the caravan or don't you? Um, big thing last year, I think we said about putting moisture traps inside of the caravan and there's a load of stuff out there that says that if you put the moisture traps in there, it creates more moisture. Oh, who says that? People on the internet. Oh. Uh, so, I, I quite like the moisture traps. I don't see a disadvantage to the moisture traps, but some people say when you put the moisture traps in, it creates more moisture. Um, so let us know in the comments, because that is our big question for this week. Should we put moisture traps in or shouldn't we? In all honesty, all of our caravans over the winter that sort of sit here, we don't do it. It cost a fortune there, wouldn't it? Yeah, do it. But, um, but we don't really have any problems, do we? No, I suppose um, So the jewelry is out for us i'm not sure but i do like the idea of moisture traps. it makes me feel if it's my own van um and it's a bit different because we sort of are going in and out of the caravan so they're being aired all the time whereas if you've got your caravan in storage it's probably just locked up and that's why i feel that um we've got a car there's there used to be a bmw with a convertible sat here now that would condensate up we'd get loads of condensation in there we put moisture traps in there and we didn't get any condensation and yeah, that is the reason moldy, yeah it? that's yeah. the reason that i like the moisture traps so my personal thing is i like it um but let me know in the comments and that is definite fact that without the moisture traps in it condensated up loads it created a load of condensation um, when i put the moisture traps in there i never got any condensation so my finding is all the people that say oh it's going to create a load of condensation it doesn't it gets rid of it didn't for us anyway no it didn't for for us so um let us know in the comments that's the big question for this week We've got another caravan that's just arrived um, for part exchange. So first thing that we're going to be doing is Chris checking it, uh, making sure we've already double checked that the year is correct. So if you've not already seen previous videos, the tenth digit, so you've got the first line of numbers and then the second line, the tenth digit along tells you what year it is. So from 2001, it started to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the tenth digit on this is a seven, so it's a 2007. From 2010, it went from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. We didn't have an I. You see, I missed J out there, but I was getting there. But we don't have an I, so you it goes J. J you went well, H. I hadn't got, yeah, I hadn't got I hadn't there. And the um, so, when we get after 2010, it goes A is 2010, B is 2011, C is 2012, and so on until we get to I, and we don't count I. So a J is a 18, and a H is a 2017 and hopefully you can work out all the other bits. I've confused you there, haven't I? Completely confused you. Uh, so, a lot to think about there. Um, let us know in the comments, as I say, about your moisture traps. Don't forget to have a look at our Facebook page, and on the Caravan Place Facebook page, you will find our little marketplace. Uh, again, it's completely free to advertise stuff on there, so have a look at that. Let us know in the comments um, what you think about those moisture traps. Um, I like them. Call it, this is what I think what you're calling it a marketplace, a bit like a Facebook marketplace. So call it a caravan marketplace group. Do you know what I mean? It's I on like our Facebook page. When you're saying marketplace, I feel like it's just Facebook marketplace, not a group for marketing the caravan. Go on our Facebook page, <laughs> you'll, you'll see what I mean. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching we'll see you next week uh hopefully with some more tips again we've got a good winter tip again for next week so don't miss it um we'll see you next week thanks for watching i'm mark at the caravan place <laughs>